Hey everybody, this is Jason Hall with Ride Detroit. Welcome back to the e-bike experience. It's time to give you guys something that is long overdue. You've heard me talk about it in a bunch of videos. Um, if you've come into the shop, you've pretty much heard me talk your ear off about them. These are the Tannis Armor Bike Liners. Uh, I mean, really right now, um, what they are is they're tire liners that go uh, between your tire and the inner tube of your bike. Um, it sounds simple and it really is. Uh, in the past, I think these are really kind of frowned upon because they are added weight and they add a lot of different things. So if you're a mountain biker or a road biker who's looking for performance, you're not really looking into tire liners. But in our instance, if you're an e-bike rider where you're carrying a, a 50 plus pound bike and you're really trying to cut down on as many flats as you can because as convenient as they make it to change a tire on an e-bike, it still sometimes can be troublesome. So what I found about these is it not only adds the added protection that you need in streets like Detroit or any pretty much urban area, or even if we found that we've sent some friends out west, those thorns and tires definitely can puncture. Um, these definitely come in handy. And another thing is they just really add peace of mind. And what I mean by that is when you're out riding at night or you're in an area you're unfamiliar with, one of those things that's constantly going through your mind is the last thing I wanna happen is to get a flat in this area and be stuck. So what's cool about this is there's a couple features that I really love about the Tannis Armor Liner. One is it gives you 15 millimeters of protection on the top side from nails and things of that nature. 15 millimeters is a lot of protection. It, um, I'm gonna give some video here that will inserts that will show you what it looks like. Um, and, and the cool thing about that is it also gives you eight millimeters of protection on the sidewall, which is these days you can catch stuff from nails to any kind of debris coming in the side. So when you have that added protection on the side, that's awesome too. Another incredible feature about these is they have a, a run flat feature. So if you know, if you get a flat with a standard tube, there's absolutely no way you're riding on that to get to a safe place without ruining your rim. Um, these have that feature that you can actually ride to where you need to get safe um, on a run flat. So that's another incredible feature that just adds that peace of mind uh, when you're out riding. Um, there's also an increased grip. Um, it allows you to ride with a little bit lower pressure than you usually are uh, because you've got that in there. So it gives you a little more surface area and a little more increased grip. Another cool thing about this is I think personally they run really smooth. I have them in my turn HSD. Um, I could tell the difference immediately when I put them on um, between just having a tube and having them inside my tire. I love them. I tried them out for weeks before I gave anybody the recommendation of getting them because I wanted to make sure that, of course, anything that I was recommending would be worth it. And I can tell you personally, every set that we've sent out, every single set that we've sent out, no one has come back with a flat. We've got a couple riders that ride every day, multiple bikes all over the city, and they ride by all the time and they rave about how much protection they have now. Um, and really for the price point, you're looking at 30, between $39 and $59.99 uh, per tire. That's really, if you think about it, if you, a, a set of those is like eight tubes. So think about that. You're, you're, you're saving yourself potentially that kind of money and that kind of a headache. Um, another thing that you do need to know about these is um, they do suggest that when you're not using your bike, that you actually deflate the tires and let these sort of uh, reshape or fill back out because they are a foam. It is their type of what they're calling, um, their type of uh, this foam that it's almost like a memory foam. But they say that if you can do that, to sort of let that foam uh, refill itself or fill back out, do that. If you can set it out maybe in a warm sun, I know it sounds like a little bit of work, but we actually did change one the other day and you could see that there was almost probably 50% compression in the original shape of the foam. You still have the protection there, but we could definitely once again see that it had the air and riding had compressed it down. So hopefully this gives you some idea and this gives you some insight on some ways that you can protect yourself while you're riding around 
uh, on the streets on an e-bike or any bike. I'm telling you, any bike that comes in the door uh, from 700C, 26, all the way up to 29, we get those on there and we have heard nothing but rave things about them. So if you have any questions about Tannis liners or how you can get them, stop by the shop. Of course, we're at Electric Avenue Bikes, 3613 Woodward. I would love to spend time and I love sort of, it's not like I, I wanna be clear, I didn't discover this. I actually saw this watching um, a really cool video from the Propel Bike Shop uh, in California. So those guys really put me on to this. Um, and I really think that this is a real game changer. So if you're getting a lot of flats and you're interested in stopping that, stop by us or your local dealer and check out a Tannis Armor uh, tire liner. All right, guys, make sure you stop here. And at this moment, maybe hit the subscribe button. We're looking to add some people um, onto the Ride Detroit, uh, Ride Detroit YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe, make sure you hit like if you have any suggestions on what we can do to do better reviews or what products we can review, definitely send them our way. We try to get you guys as much information as possible. And I'm trying to like these days, go a little more on the practical side, because like I said, I could talk about bikes all day, but I think I wanna give you guys a little more stuff that's a little more helpful on your day to day. So check us out. Once again, I'm Jason Hall with Ride Detroit. Thanks for uh, tuning into the e-bike experience.